Yeah, I'll always be a metalhead. They, nothing can take that away from me. Right. I mean, not jail, not people, not religion, not anything. I'll always be a metalhead. Metalhead, metalhead, metalhead. Metalhead, metalhead. Metalhead, metalhead. Metalhead, metalhead. Metalhead, metalhead. You're listening to The Great Metal Debate Podcast. Welcome back, Metalheads, to another episode of The Great Metal Debate Podcast. I'm Xander, and today we're going to be reviewing the new album from the black metal band Dark Funeral called We Are the Apocalypse. For those Generation Z kids out there, Dark Funeral is an old school black metal band hailing from Stockholm, Sweden. This band has been a staple of the scene since 1993 and doesn't look like they'll be fading away anytime soon. If you couldn't tell just from the band's logo alone, Dark Funeral is a notoriously satanic band. But don't let that deter you from these guys. Their lyrical theme and imagery is basically grandfathered in. So don't think they're another generic group that uses pentagrams and inverted crosses for redundant shock value. Certain members of the band actually are Luciferian in real life, including guitarist Lord Araman. I know what you're thinking. Satanic black metal isn't even beating a dead horse anymore. Instead, it's more like beating the dirt where the dead horse used to be, before it rotted away and the bone dust just mixed with the soil. But I must remind you that this band has been doing this for nearly three decades now. While the theme is no longer considered taboo or original, the music and vocals are still fresh. I first got into this band way back in 2009 with their album Angelus Exero Pro Eternus. Before I start this review, I'm going to tell you about my very controversial opinion on this band. Most hardcore elitists out there would verbally crucify me upside down for my blasphemy, but I honestly enjoy newer Dark Funeral albums more. I have said before that I like my black metal to be clean and well mixed in a professional studio instead of on a staticky tape recorder. You old farts can keep your raw secrets of the black arts, and I'll continue enjoying the previous 2016 album, Where Shadows Forever Reign. Speaking of the previous album, before we dive into the track by track, I'd like to point out one small qualm I have with this new release. The bass seems a lot less audible, and the guitars are noticeably quieter than the drums. I'm not sure if this was intentional or designed that way to showcase the new drummer's talent or if it's just a coincidence. After all, the new drummer has large shoes to fill, taking over Dominator's position. You can still hear the riffs, but if you crank up the volume, you're still mainly going to hear the drums and vocals above everything else. The first song on this album opens with the supersonic blast beats from the band's new drummer, Yolama, in the song Nightfall. It's a solid opening track for a fantastic black metal record. Next, we have the first single released for the album, which is a catchy song called Let the Devil In. The beginning sets us up with a slow drum roll, followed by a screeching guitar riff and Hell John Mardar's raspy vocals. I'm going to go ahead and apologize once more if I screw up any of their names. What I like best about the song is it's easy to hear every spoken word in this track. After enough listens, you won't even need to read the lyrics to perform a vocal cover. When Our Vengeance is Done starts off with a strong and unholy scream. The song may not have a whole lot of other outstanding moments, but it's still fine-tuned nonetheless. Fans of classic horror movies rejoice. Track 4 is named after the 1922 German silent film Nosferatu. I swear if Hollywood director Robert Eggers doesn't keep this song in mind for the ending credits of his remake this year, it would literally be a missed opportunity of the century. Now we come to my favorite song on the album titled When I'm Gone. I can best describe this track as a black metal ballad. Even if you are a firm non-believer in Ghost, the lyrics are enough to give me chills. It will make everyone question the possibility of the supernatural. It is eerie to say the least, because the song is about dying, but your soul is left behind to haunt the living with your sinister presence. It is also the longest song on the album, clocking in at 5 minutes and 45 seconds. You will be delighted to know that all of the songs exceed the 4-minute mark, so with nine songs and a total runtime of 43 minutes and 44 seconds, it's worth your money. This band might be pure evil, but at the same time, it's easy to get lost in the songs as the album goes on. Other than the fact that they can have an effect on your mood, I can't find any negative things to say about this release. While I was halfway through writing this review, I watched someone else review this album on YouTube. Specifically, 
it was Blaine Smith from Overkill Reviews on Banger TV. He stated that many of the songs sounded exactly the same, which leads me to believe that he must have only listened to this album once or twice. I, however, have had this album on repeat all day, meaning I've listened to the entirety of it at least five times in a row. Now, I will admit that the next two songs, Beyond the Grave and Beast is Who Prays, could be forgettable, but when you start picking out certain lyrics, you can begin to tell the songs apart. Leviathan may be another cliche name for a black metal track, but it's still capable of growing on you after enough listens. This is also the third single put out from this band before the release date. The conclusion of this record ends with the album title track, We Are the Apocalypse. The conclusion of this record ends with the album title track, We Are the Apocalypse. It's another decent song, but the words, We Are the Apocalypse, do get slightly repetitious, but not enough to drive you crazy. As for my verdict, all things considered, I have to say that it's a really good album, but I still believe the band's previous effort is their best work. However, I think this makes a very close second place when it comes to me ranking their entire discography. I'm going to give Dark Funeral, We Are the Apocalypse, a nice little 8.5 out of 10. You can find Dark Funeral's music through Century Media Records. Their main merchandise website for American shoppers is through kingsroad.com. Make sure you continue to support the metal scene, especially the Swedish. After all, Lord Auerman has his very own new bars of soap to sell you.